Hello chef here. So what we have here is some sourdough bread. And we're getting ready to put this in the wood fired oven. Just wanted to share this with you. These breads are on a uh, pizza peel. They're about a pound and a half a piece. They're pretty nice. The sun's been proofing them throughout the afternoon. Uh, they're lightly floured down below. So one of the things I'm doing here is just uh, scoring them very quickly like this. A couple of cuts across. Knife's got to be very sharp and once you do the scoring uh, then you want to put just a dusting of flour on top of each one. So that's it. These are ready to go in the wood-fired oven. I'll be back. Okay, so you can see the oven's not real big, but at this time right now, I've got four loaves of bread in there, and uh, you can just move them around and get to them pretty easily, and uh, wood-fired. I like it. Oh yeah, the finished sourdough bread. There you go, this is a couple of the loaves. Nice, not too heavy. Nice crust, you can see. Ooh. Yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, support your sponsor. And again, the recipe is on the website. And here's two more of the loaves out of the wood-fired oven. Looking good? Yeah. Garlic on end grain walnut. Sometimes people ask us what's it like to uh, chop on end grain. So here you go. The knife makes a slightly different sound when you're on end grain and it's a little bit easier on the knife blade, so they say. Okay, so garlic real quick. Uh, just going up and down like this it just goes right through of course I've got a really good really good uh, Japanese knife and uh, that's it slice the garlic ah garlic got a little bit of uh, garlic and extra virgin olive oil here Wow try that with sourdough bread amazing Yeah, not too big, not too heavy, uh, easy to move around, super, super high quality, and you're buying an heirloom. This will last for generations as long as you take care of it.